Hello, say Charat. Picture yourself in a vast desert, the sun extremely hot with only a bottle of water in your hand. This water is all you have to survive until you find an oasis. But naturally, every drop in that bottle is precious. Would you carelessly let it spill? Of course not. You would guard it. You would savor every drop, ensuring not a single drop is wasted. Now imagine that this water is the time in your day and the desert represents your daily challenges. You see, many of us without realizing will let these vital moments, these drops of time, spill into the sand of distractions and pointless activities. And then we wonder why we're parched, we're asking ourselves, where has my time gone? Why can't I do the things I want? You see, time is the most valuable resource in our lives, and if we're not paying attention, it slips away just like water in the desert. And that is why today we're going to explore a tool that will help us to guard our time, to use it wisely, and ensure that we're never letting uh, ourselves be without time again. We're going to be doing time audits. You must get familiar with time audits. This will save your life. The word audit comes from the Latin, the Latin word audire, which means to hear. In the past, people used to check if something was true by listening, by asking questions. And nowadays, when we say audit, we mean to take a close look, to verify, to check. So a time audit means that we're taking a close look at how we are using our time. Now, why do we do that? Why is this important? Because by doing a time audit, we can see what we're doing right and what we could make a change. In this way, you can make better choices, you can live a life that will make you happy, and this is why you should try to do a time audit, because it will help you to use your time better and do more of what you love. Think of a time audit as a diary of your day. It will be detailing every minute, every hour. It is a tool that will let you see where your time goes. Now, let's go into a real-world example to make this more clear. The famous Pomodoro technique. We already discussed this idea many times here in our Arata Academy channel on YouTube. The Pomodoro technique allows you to use small blocks of time to be focused. And you can have short breaks in between. This is how it works. First, you're going to pick a task that you believe is important, that you want to work on. It could be anything from writing a report, maybe cleaning your room, doesn't matter. You're going to set a timer for 25 minutes. This 25-minute work session is called a Pomodoro. You're going to be doing only that. You're going to be working on your task until your timer rings. During this time, you're going to focus solely on that task. You're going to block all other distractions. And then you take a five-minute break because you've earned it. This is time for you to relax, just to enjoy. And then you repeat. After four Pomodoros, this means you were able to concentrate 100 minutes on your task because that was four blocks of time of 24, uh, 25 minutes each. Well done. And then this time, now you can afford a longer break, maybe 15, 30 minutes. The magic of this, this Pomodoro technique, is that it encourages you to have intense focus for short bursts, preventing burnout, increasing your productivity. And here's where the time audit comes into play. As you go through your days using your Pomodoro, you're going to be recording each one of these, either on paper or on some type of an app. And over time, you're going to be showing how many Pomodoros you completed. And also, what tasks took how much time? Which times of the day you were more productive? Which interruptions were sneaking in? By auditing your Pomodoros, now you're going to have concrete data on how you are spending your work time. Are you truly focusing during those 25 minutes? Or maybe during that time your phone was getting your attention? Are some tasks taking more Pomodoros than you originally expected? With this information in hand, you can fine-tune your approach, you can optimize your schedule, and you can make the most of every precious moment of your day. It's like ensuring that every drop of water in your desert has been used to the maximum potential. Very soon, we're going to get into the details of how to do this examination of the data of the Pomodoros. First, let's just step back. Let's understand 
the importance of all of this. And then we can see the different approaches, the different ways how you can measure your time. It's not just with Pomodoros. Auditing your time is the most urgent thing you have to do. It is urgent to start tracking your time, understanding your own time. Well, now, why exactly is auditing our time so urgent? First of all, there is the finite nature of time. Every moment lost is a moment you cannot get back. Time, once gone, is irreversible. The hours you spend on unproductive tasks or tasks that don't really align with your goals, these are hours you're essentially letting slip through your fingers. It's not just about quantity, it's also about the quality of your work. This is one of the most important lessons that we have in our training, Results Arata Academy. You have to be careful with toxic productivity. You need to do more of valuable things. You have to do less of worthless things. And you can start all of this right now by visiting arata.se forward slash results and you can do activities with me. Think about this. When you don't track your time, you might feel busy, but there is no guarantee you're actually moving forward. This is the difference between running on a treadmill versus running from place point A to point B, maybe in a marathon. Both feel like work, but just one is taking you from one place to another. By auditing your time, you're ensuring that you're on the right track towards your personal goals, your professional milestones. Always keep in mind the opportunity cost. For every hour you spend on one task, you're sacrificing the opportunity to do something else. Without a clear understanding of how you're spending your time, you might be unknowingly sacrificing significant opportunities for minor ones. And you can reduce unnecessary stress from your life. Ever felt that overwhelming sensation of too much to do, too little time? By keeping track and auditing your time, now you're better equipped to allocate your tasks and manage them, reducing the mental stress of feeling constantly behind. By understanding and allocating time for focused work, you're ensuring quality output. Identifying time wasters, like those seconds that you lose to social media, for example. They are precious drops of water that are falling in the desert, the sand, then you wonder why you're so thirsty. The bottom line is this. In a world that is so full of distractions that demands understanding where your time goes is not just a nice idea, it is an urgent necessity. To get started, you need to have the right tools for time tracking. Time tracking isn't just about writing down how many hours and minutes you spend doing what. No. The main purpose is to give you insight, to give you wisdom, so you can change, so you can have a better life. It is about understanding how you are spending that time, and that requires the right tools. Whether you are a visual person, or tech enthusiast, or someone who prefers the old school pen and paper, there will be a tool out there for you. But among the many options, which ones truly stand out? Let's get into the specifics. Let's take a look at how to use physical notebooks, digital time trackers, automated time tracking, and even Pomodoro apps. First of all, physical notebooks and planners. For many people, there is something irreplaceable about this tactile experience of writing things down. I know that physically writing uh, is something that so many people like because it can improve the memory retention. It can boost our focus just because we're paying more attention while we're doing that. For example, you can use the bullet journal method. We already explained the bullet journal uh, in detail in the previous episode of the Hello Say Charat series. And this is a customizable system that allows for quick logging of tasks events and notes, makes it really easy for you to have a glance of how you are spending your day. Unlike generic planners, the bullet journal is adaptable to your needs. You can design layouts that will fit your lifestyle uh, the better and your work habits as well can take all of that into account. Next, we have digital time trackers. Digital tools often come with reminders, alerts, 
sync across devices. They can even generate insightful reports for your time habits. You can use Toggle. It is simple, intuitive, robust. Toggle allows you to track the time you spend on different tasks and even provides you visual reports so you can analyze your productivity patterns. There are many digital trackers. They're so cluttered with too many features that makes it very confusing. Toggle, in a certain way, uh, remains a bit more user-friendly and also has a lot of powerful insights. It makes it very useful. There is also automated time tracking. For people who forget to do the time tracking manually, automated tools can track your computer activities and then allocate your time to different types of tasks. You can use the reporting from your mobile phone. Both iPhone and Android have good reports or you can install a desktop app like Rescue Time. It just runs quietly on the background. It tracks the different software that you use and it provides detailed reports on your digital habits. Rescue Time provides not just tracking, but also productivity scores. It sets a cut above those automated trackers that are more simple. And finally, let's go to the Pomodoro apps. The reason why I started this conversation telling you about the Pomodoro technique, it is because it is simple. The Pomodoro technique involves working in focused intervals, typically 25 minutes, followed by a short break of 5 minutes. It is an effective way to ensure your continuous focus without burnout. There are many apps uh, that you can use, like uh, Tomato Timers, that is a simple online platform that is dedicated to the Pomodoro technique, and it offers customizable work and uh, break durations. You can do the way you like more. The main advantage is the simplicity. While many Pomodoro apps come with so many additional features, Tomato Timer will stick to the basics. It ensures that you are actually focused on your work, the thing you have to do, not um, configuring the app or learning how to use the app. So let's take action. Your mission now is to do just one week of time capture and review. Remember that our time on this planet is limited. Once a moment is gone, it is gone forever. If you waste an hour, you can't get it back. Each minute should be valued, should be spent wisely. You can and you should improve your productivity. Knowing where your time goes ensures that you're making progress. You might feel like you're working hard, but are you working smart? Are you on a treadmill? Or are you actually moving towards your goals? Every hour has a cost. If you spend it here, you can't spend it there. By understanding your time, you avoid missing out on big chances because you're stuck doing small tasks. In case you think that it would take you too much time to be tracking your time, to do that time audit, just think how much better it would be to live with less stress. Remember the next time that you're feeling rushed and overwhelmed. By managing your time, your tasks become more easy, more manageable, and the chaos is under your control. You can think of time a little bit like money. Imagine that every day you have a certain amount. How are you going to spend it? Would you buy something without understanding what is the price? What is the quality of what it is that you buy? Of course not. Why do you spend your hours without understanding what are you doing with that time? Now that it's so clear that it is worth doing the time audit, here's an exercise for you. First of all, you have to capture everything. It doesn't matter if you are going to be writing with pen and paper or if you're going to be using a digital app. What really matters is that for the next Seven days, you will write down everything you do, from the big tasks to the small tasks, write everything. And second, you do a review at the end of the week. After seven days, take a look at your notes. Group them. How much time you spent with work and play and chores and time wasters. And finally, examine the data you collect and see where most of your hours are going. Which tasks are helping you to move forward? Which ones are holding you back? I'm sure you can spot the time wasters. These are the activities that don't help you with your goals. Plan to cut them down. Remove them. Remember, every second is a chance for you to do something great. Don't let it go to waste. Time is precious. Once time passes, 
we can't get it back. If you waste time doing things that don't help you to reach your goals, it's like letting sand slip through your fingers. Resources going away. Every time you spend an hour doing something, it means you're missing out on doing something else. If you don't know how you're using your time, you might be missing out on big chances because you're just busy with the little things that get you nowhere. This is why productivity is so important and you can have a better life and that is why now I invite you to visit the link arata.se forward slash results.